So you know we're just sojourners in this journey right here. Hallelujah. So we got to prepare to make it over. Glory be to God. So when you come in the house of the Lord, this is part of your preparation. Put before the Lord what you need, how you need it, when you need it, and see what God does for you. Hallelujah. 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 It's a nice fall day. God done did it for us. The sun is shining. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I ain't gonna be out now. I done put on my clothes, pressed my way. Now we're gonna have to get ourselves together. And purpose is thing for what we came in the house to do. Just vest in his glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Angels is all in here with us that's gonna love on us and, and shout with us and pray with us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory, glory be to God. God is a good God. God is a good God. He's an amazing God. He's wonderful. Yes, he is. He's unsearchable. Hallelujah. Our God is such a wonderful, wonderful God. Hallelujah. Kept us through the night. No hurt, harm, danger came to us through all this week. Hallelujah. No bad news. No problem. Hallelujah. All of those are miracles. All that's a miracle. We shouldn't take it for granted, y'all. Those are miracles in this day and time that we're living in. Hallelujah. God is so good and good gracious to us. Glory be to God. It's all right anyhow. Nevertheless, ain't nothing we can do about it. Hallelujah. It's, I just, I don't know where I'm at, y'all. That's why I'm just talking. I'm telling I told Sister Dan to find me something. But see, when I was getting in my car, Genesis 1 came to me. In the beginning.
and have dominion, have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the earth and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Amen. Y'all read all of it. That's a, that's a good, just a good chapter right there. And on the seventh day, what did he do? Praise. All right. And that's when we come in the house of the Lord and we bless God. That's when we come in the house because he said he was resting after the seventh day. So we come in here to bless his holy name. Amen. Amen.
Are here all thy children? Uh, this, uh, this, you sure are these are your children? And he said, there were men if yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. He keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come here. Won't even sit down. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and with all a beautiful countenance yeah. and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, right. anoint him, anoint him, for this is he. This is he. Then Samuel took the oil, the horn of oil, and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David the spirit from that day forward. So Samuel rose and went to Ramah. Yes. My topic this morning is access grant. Here we are all familiar with the story of Samuel giving an assignment to anoint David king of Israel. We see how God says and why God says my ways are not your ways and my thoughts are not even your thoughts. Because God looks on the heart. The oil would not and could not come out until the promised one was there. And I'm so glad that God knows who the promised one is already is. Because God is the one that chooses and not man. And uh, somebody ought to be glad about that. God lets us know what he is and what's not he is. Guys, one thing about this story is whatever is yours is yours and whatever is mine is mine. I can't have what's yours and you can't have what's mine. That's why Samuel was telling him it has to be another child somewhere because the oil is not ready to come forth. I'm so glad that the Lord will anoint what belongs unto him. Now, for he never makes a mistake. I'm glad that God never makes a mistake. He never gets your blessing mixed up with my blessing. He never gets your healing mixed up with my healing. And he knows what my hallelujah means. And he knows what your hallelujah means. Access is granted. God doesn't care what man thinks or ought to be. But it's what God says will be. Jeremiah 1 and 5 says that God says before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I sanctified you. And I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Because God is omniscient. He knew you and, and I before our conception and birth. He knows who belongs unto him and who doesn't. The Bible says that the Bible says those that know him know his voice and no other voice will they follow. If you don't belong to God, guess what the answer will be? Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. They that has an ear, let them hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church this morning. Because there, because there is a way to access the passcode. We live in a generation where everything needs a passcode or a four-digit number or it needs some kind of access to let them know that it is you. We live in a technology generation where everything is taken over with computers and laptops and all of these other devices. But everything needs a password or code. And after a few tries, the electronic will either shut down and lock you out. Um, access granted this morning. Uh, you may be saying, uh, where is she going with this? Uh, I'm not quite following. Uh, just bear with me a little while. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, I kind of feel how Mount Moses might have failed uh, when he said, Lord, I'm a stutterer uh, and I have no elegant words uh, and I speak with no elegant speech. Uh, but I thank God this morning. 
morning. Uh, if he called you, uh, he will qualify you uh, for his needs and desires. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, access granted. Uh, the Bible says uh, that Jesus came uh, for you and I. He hung on the cross uh, for our sins. Uh, when Jesus hung on Calvary, uh, that gave his people straightway uh, access from earth to glory. Uh, access has been granted. Uh, we ought to be grateful about that. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the devil and hell. And his demons uh, tremble in the name of Jesus. Uh, that's access granted. Uh, Luke 10 and 17 says, uh, and the 70 returned again uh, with joy, saying, uh, Lord, Lord, uh, even the devils with an S, uh, many more than one. Uh, all are subject to us uh, through your name. Uh, well, Acts 4 and 12 uh, says there is salvation uh, and no one else. Uh, for there is no other name uh, under heaven given among men uh, by which we must be saved. Uh, I have the password this morning. Uh, I have a password. Jesus uh, never failed, uh, and I'm so glad about it. Uh, the password uh, to you uh, to get into any gate or door opening uh, is Jesus. Uh, Jesus is the password. Uh, Jesus, uh, He will open doors uh, that men have closed. Said tonight, uh, but Jesus turned around uh, and said, I beg the differ. Uh, access granted. Uh, if you live right, uh, access granted uh, can be given unto you. Uh, you gotta know uh, that Jesus is on your side. Uh, you can't get in because uh, if you don't have. The conditions uh, to this password. Uh, salvation is the first step. Uh, the Bible says no man uh, come to the Father uh, except he first uh, come through the Son. Uh, hey, glory to God. Uh, you must be born again uh, to have asset access granted. Uh, you must accept. Jesus Christ uh, as your Lord and Savior uh, you must not only say uh, that I am saved uh, but separate ourselves uh, and come out from among the world uh, living a clean and holy lifestyle uh, not just saying I'm saved uh, but you got to have action uh, to say that you are saved uh, we must die daily uh, to this old flesh uh, and feed the spirit man. Uh, holiness uh, to maintain access uh, to the password. Uh, holiness without uh, no man can see God. Uh, the Bible says uh, cry loud uh, and spare not. Uh, if to leave a message uh, in our inbox. Uh, no doubt uh, they would say uh, we were granted access uh, to the beautiful Garden of Eden. Uh, but that old serpent uh, got us thrown out. Uh, access denied. Uh, yeah, Lord. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 uh, gives a chapter uh, in the manual 